Above the idyllic town of St. Bartholomew, we spent a day along the coastal range known as San Padre Juan Baptiste Montaño. Historically, St. Bartholomew was home to Chumash Indians, oak trees, and numerous majestic species. The Chumash now are extracting revenge through their government-free zone casino, while the dirty, slow-growing oaks are protected. The species are extinct or endangered, and what were once natural aquifers are now paved over sloughs. The profundity of people, and cars especially, has led to devastating consequences, as we shall discover today. This tropical climate, normally so lush and green, has undergone somewhat of a drastic change since the turn of the year. As a rare treat, the northern jet stream dropped to just south of the equator at the turn of the new year, enabling the chill Arctic air to combine with the moist, tropical clime of St. Bartholomew. Today on our journey, we are joined by Dr. Rat, a fairly well-known biological bilinguist. Raging Molotov, our executive producer, and Durham Chu, sound manager. The aforementioned dichotomy of climates has resulted in a layer of snow particulate, a wondrous side effect of this climb coupling known as Baby Huey, a distant but meaningful cousin to La Nina. <laughs> Here we are with a key example of Cancer frigidus rockansis, recently emerged from these cracks after the snow thaws and the air warms to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. They pursue their preferred foraging luxuries. Good food, proper nutrition, these crabs will molt at the rate of once every 25 years. Just spectacular. After a prolonged hibernation of up to 12 to 16 years, these crabs will emerge voraciously hungry, then they will immediately seek sustenance. Here they are, grazing on our native bunch grass. These crabs will eat for up to 10 days straight before re-entering their burrows. And in that time, they will consume an average per crab of up to 1.6 acres of this choice chaparral habitat. Here we have 
a species of interest with relation to our target organism today. These are the rare, semi-endangered terrestrial sea urchins, Strongylocentrotus yokinsis. As you can tell, they're ah, very sharp. Here we have evidence of an important ecological interaction where we can see evidence of Strongylocentritis yokinsis mortality caused by a subspecies of Cancer frigidus, known as Cancer frigidus yokinsis, named after its preferred associated prey item. The individuals who cause this mortality can't be far. Let's look for them. As you can see, both Cancer frigidus yokensis and frigidus rockensis are primarily docile, harmless creatures. Unless one accounts for the destruction of acreage and the mortality of Strongylocentrotus yokensis. In their voracious quest for sustenance, both species face the inevitable confrontation with humans. Many a crab has met their demise by the wheels of man. As a result, and for reasons as yet unexplained, both Frigidus Yakensis and Frigidus Rockensis will team up and attack the offending vehicle. There are theories that these crabs may even represent a third subspecies, Cancer Frigidus vehiculosensis. The uncertainty of this theory lies in the unanswered question of whether the dead crab is a martyr or merely a victim of fate. Whatever the answer, it is evident that these normally tranquil creatures will, when provoked, defend their domain with a ferocity heretofore unseen in the animal world. For fantastic beasts, wondrous creatures, rare species. That concludes a report from the San Padre Juan Baptiste Montan Coastal Range, above the idyllic town of St. Bartholomew.